Mathematics is intended to be a series of animations to help teach basic concepts of mathematics. Our pilot program concerns right triangles. Using sophisticated triangle visualization techniques, we set the stage for more proofs than you would ever believe necessary of the Pythagorean theorem. What's so special about the lengths of the sides of a right triangle? We can get a hint if the sides are integers. The sum of the squares of the shorter sides equals the square of the longer, the Pythagorean theorem. But how do we know this for sure? Here's the first proof. Make four copies of the original triangle. Keep a copy of this for reference. Now, slide the triangles around. And, abracadabra, the blue areas are equal. And you can see that this is going to work for any shaped right triangle. Here's a hint at an algebraic proof. Drop a perpendicular to the hypotenuse, divide the triangle into three similar triangles. With the equal ratios of sides and a little algebra, we can solve for x and y. Then add them up. The rest is left as homework. How about this proof? Shear this square and its area doesn't change. Shear this square and its area doesn't change. Shear again and they fit. Still not convinced? Cut a copy of the small square out of the middle of the big one. Make cuts out to the edges. Now unfold. Here's perhaps the simplest proof. Instead of three squares, use three triangles, similar in shape to the original one. Since the area of each triangle is proportional to the square of the side that it's on, and since the sum of these areas obviously equals this one, we're back to our old friend, the Pythagorean theorem. This leads to an interesting generalization. For any three similar shapes on the sides of a right triangle, the sum of the areas of the two smaller equals the area of the larger. Now we're ready to take this into three dimensions with two applications of the 2D theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is one of the most thoroughly proven theorems in mathematics. There's simply no way it can be wrong, um, as long as you stick to planar triangles. Non-Euclidean geometry is interesting, but we'll have to save it for a later program.